All right, guys, so I wanted to finish up our lecture from this morning. I have about four problems that I want to work out. So we left off on the bottom of the worksheet, uh, four through four through nine. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to work out four of those. I think that's enough for you guys to get the idea of what uh, what's going on here. So what we're dealing with is, uh, is we're dealing with function notation, and that's what we're looking at right now. So traditionally, you're used to looking at functions or equations as y equals and then something else, in this case 2x plus 4, and it's y equals. And uh, that y equals, uh, in function notation, technically what that means is that this is a function of x for two, negative 2x two plus 4. And what a function of x means is that uh, this whole equation is dependent uh, it's dependent on this variable right here, okay? That's my independent variable, okay? This one right here, the x. And my dependent variable is the result of that. So that the result is dependent on what I put in the, uh, in the x term, okay? So uh, let's see if we can't work this out to maybe make a little bit more sense of it here. Um, so my, my dependent variable, x, now as you can see here, number 4, it's telling us that it's an f a function, a function of 12, right? So what that means, I'm going to go ahead and move this down here so I can work with it. f of x equals negative 2x plus 4. And number 4 is telling me that this is a function of 12. So what that means is that, uh, as you can see here, I've replaced every anywhere there's an x, I need to replace it with a 4. Okay, that's my, my uh, independent variable. So I'm going to rewrite my equation now as negative 2 and now instead of having the x there it's going to be 12 and now after that after I input this is my input after I input that term into there now I can just work out the the equation like I normally do so negative 2 times 12 is negative 24 plus 4 is negative 20 so f of 12 of the function in terms of 12 equals negative 20 so this is my input and this is my output or this is my independent variable and this is my dependent variable. The dependent variable always depending on whatever my input is or my uh, independent variable, my x, my x term. Okay, so let's work out another one. Uh, let's see here. Let's work out number six, which is two b. So I'm still working. I'm still working with the same equation. Okay, I'm still working with this one right here. Okay, but now number six is saying it's it needs to be replaced with two b. So this is now a function of two b, two b equals negative two x plus four. So whatever, wherever there is an x, wherever there is an x, I now need to replace it with two b. So this new function, the function as it pertains to two b, is now going to be rewritten as negative two times two b plus 4. So uh, at this point, again, I work it out like I normally do. So negative 2 times 2b is negative 4b plus 4. And that's really all I can do um, because, uh, because 4b and 4 are not like terms. So I can't put those together. That's as far as I can go with these equations. So uh, f of 2b equals negative 2b plus 4. And that's I'm done with that one. Okay, so uh, if you're counting, that's two. We have one more to uh, two more to go. So let's work out number uh, number seven, g of five. Okay. Now notice, notice it's g of five. Uh, before it was f of, right? It can be any letter. You can use any. That can be f of x, function of x. It can be the g of x. It can be t of x. It can be f of t. It's, it all means the same thing. It means it's a function of whatever is inside the parentheses. So this function g, g of x, or g of 5, it's, you work it out the same way. So wherever there is an x, I need to replace that x with whatever is inside the parentheses. And in this case, it's a 5. So I do um, 5 cubed minus 5. Okay, uh, And then 5 cubed is, uh, what, 125? 125 minus 5 is 120. And so that is my 
That is my output. That is my result. G of 5 equals 120. Okay? All right, let's do one more. This will be the last one that we work out. Uh, and then uh, that should be enough for you to use in your, um, in your homework. Let's work out uh, number 9. That one looks pretty challenging. So number 9, I have, I'm going to rewrite my equation over here. x cubed minus x. So g of 7c. Oops. Okay, that is uh, 7c cubed minus 7c. This will be interesting. Let's see how this works out. So, um, if you guys remember your rules for exponents, you distribute that exponent to each term in here, right? So then my new equation is going to be 7 cubed. What is 7 cubed? I know 7 times 7 is 49, but then times 7, I'm not uh, entirely familiar with that one. 28, 34, is that right? 3, 4, 3, and then c cubed minus 7c. And that's it. That's as far as I can go. Uh, because these aren't really like terms. C cubed and C are not like terms, so that, that's it. So G, of, so G of 7C equals 343C cubed minus 7C. Okay, so that does it for that. Uh, and again, this has been um, dealing with function notation, independent variables and dependent variables and at how it pertains to uh, the equations we've been working in class. So that completes the worksheet. This should be enough for you to complete the homework, um, which, you, uh, which you got earlier this afternoon. All right, good luck in your studying.